Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always, told out of voice radio. So today, we are looking at one of the most fun new cards I have seen in a very long time. It's Kamala! Now, I have a soft spot for Kamala, because my niece, when she was like three years old, loved running around in Pokemon Sun and Moon, even though she didn't really know what she was doing. And the first Pokemon she ever helped me to catch was Kamala. So I love me some Kamala. But I think this card is extremely interesting, even without my rambling niece story. So if we start off having a little bit of a look at the basics here, though I should tell you our translation comes from the lovely Joe over at Cerebi.net, slash what I pieced together from Google Translate. It's got 90 HP, which is fine. I'm still holding out hope we get a lovable reprint one day, so it'll be good for that. It's got a retreat cost of one, which means you can get free retreat with a skateboard. And given that we want to be asleep, that's pretty important. It's got a weakness to fighting, which sucks because Buzzwall with a Diancy Prism Star will get a fairly easy one-hit KO, which also kind of sucks. And being a colorless Pokemon, you don't get any extra tricks or any of that stuff, which is a little bit sad. But it doesn't really matter. Because what we have on Kamala is one of the coolest, funnest, most interesting abilities I have seen in quite some time. And according to the lovely Joe slash Google Translate, what it does is if Kamala is your active Pokemon and it says asleep between turns, that is to say fails a sleep flip, you put six damage counters on the defending Pokemon. Six damage counters on the defending Pokemon. That's ridiculous. That basically turns Kamala into kind of a one or zero energy 60 damage. Except it's more than that. Because there's a bunch of Pokemon that prevent damage from attacks. Well, this doesn't damage. This places damage counters. So if we look at something like Shuckle, for instance, Shuckle should sit there going, ha ha ha, jokes on you. You need to put free energy on your Kamala in order to do anything to me because it prevents all damage by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that have two or fewer energy attached to them. Well, this isn't an attack. This is an ability. So you can pop this in front of something like Shuckle and you go. So okay, maybe they use Edgy X attack to paralyze you and overrun your sleep. Or maybe they use Triple Poison. But they still take the six damage counters. And the great thing about Kamala here, six damage after your turn, six damage after their turn, six damage after your turn, oh, that's 180 damage. That's obscene, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely obscene. This is one of the funnest, most awesome Pokemon we have seen in quite a long time. And if we just flick to the attack very, very quickly, the attack is very straightforward. You put yourself to sleep. That's it. That's what you do. Kamala puts itself to sleep. That's it. You're asleep. You're done. And the great thing is, something like Shuckle won't prevent this. Shuckle... Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon that have two or fewer energy attached to them. Well, incidentally, this is... Well, it's sleep, not damage. Shuckle only blocks damage, not effects. But even so, you're doing it to you. So let's say we get something like Jolteon coming back. Jolteon EX. That blocks attacks from basic Pokemon. Jolteon EX has Flash Ray which was really good for a while, and it reads, during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon. We're well, not doing attacks, so it doesn't matter. It's so much fun, ladies and gentlemen. So much fun. And this adds up really, really quickly. Now, the biggest issue with Kamala here, what if you wake up? Because if you wake up, then things go very, very badly, very, very quickly. Because if you wake up, they don't take the six damage counters. And if you wake up after your turn, you won't be asleep for their turn. So you won't do that definitely. That really sucks. Except we just got a really, really nice new stadium called Slumber Forest. And Slumber Forest says that you've got to flip two coins for sleep between turns. That is both players. And if either of them is Tails, 
you stay asleep. I know, right? So here, you've only got a 25% chance of waking up. And sometimes you will. And if you do wake up, well, that sucks. I'm going to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. If you wake up, it sucks and you wake up. There's nothing you can do about it. If you wake up, you wake up. But there's a 25% chance you wake up and a 75% chance that you stay asleep. And if you stay asleep, six damage counters. It's so good, ladies and gentlemen. And here, the theory is extremely simple. You want to be asleep, and then you drop the damage counters. The problem is you're a 90 HP Pokemon with a fairly bad weakness. So maybe here, you need to do something a little bit more. And the little bit more is you put your opponent's Pokemon to sleep. Because, of course, you're already playing Slumber Forest. So now you've got a 25% chance of waking up, but you don't want to. And they've got a 25% chance of waking up, but they do want to. Incidentally, if your opponent gets rid of Slumber Forest on their turn, then you will just have a 50-50 chance for sleep, and that's sad. So what we can do here is really start trying to take advantage of stuff like the Vile Plume from Unbroken Bonds. Flip a coin... If heads, I mean, you get to choose a special condition other than paralysis. But clearly here, ladies and gentlemen, clearly you're going to be choosing sleep. So you put them to sleep on a coin flip. And then they're unlikely to wake up. Now, you do have Shinotic, which if they attack, they're asleep. But the problem is that you don't really want that because you, you need this in the active. We do also have Mareep. I like Mareep. The problem with Mareep is that, I mean, you need to put them to sleep in the active. You can then, you know, free retreat with something like a skateboard. And then you just use your attack to put you to sleep. You going to sleep isn't an issue. Your attack puts you to sleep. That's not a problem. What we need to do is put them asleep. And we've basically got Vile Plume. We've got Mareep. And we've got the new option, which we just revealed the other day, which is the new Amoongus whereby when you play a Pokemon that has Spore, you leave your opponent's active Pokemon asleep and poisoned. Incidentally, the Pokemon we have at the moment with Spore are Fungus and Breloom. I'll link these videos in the description. So essentially, either you evolve into a Breloom or you bench a Fungus and you go. And that'll work as well. And then you've got the poison damage adding up, which makes a bit of a difference. And the thing here is that this adds up a lot quicker than you would think. Let's say they're asleep, you're asleep, and they're poisoned. Seven damage counters after your turn. Seven damage counters after their turn. Seven damage counters after your turn. So essentially, they have had a single turn to try and get out of this. And then they're up to 210 damage. That's even the majority of stage 1 GXs. Something like Naganadal, for instance, will already have been KO'd. And we're losing Ace Roller, and we're losing Guzma, and we're losing Escape Rope to the rotation. So that means that your opponent is going to be much less likely to actually have switching options. Now, the sad news is we're still going to have a skateboard, and a skateboard will let them retreat when they're asleep. But even so, if they retreat while asleep, the new Pokemon that they put active will still take the six damage between turns. Unless they knock out Kamala, which 90 HP bad weakness, there's a there's a fairly high chance, unfortunately, that they will, which is a little bit sad. But the fact of the matter is, two of the biggest losses we're having in rotation is gusting and switching. And this really takes advantage of both. I'm not saying this is going to be some kind of powerhouse deck which is going to crush everything. But I am saying that when you sit there and put your opponent to sleep, and then start putting six damage counters on them between turns, and then... Bear in mind, we got Slumber Forest, so there's only a 25% chance either of you wake up. This, I can't sit here and tell you it's going to be the best card, but I can tell you it's one of the most interesting, and I can tell you that it's probably in my personal top five cards from this Japanese set, from Miracle Twin. I love it. I'm giving it between three and four Wossies. We don't give half Wossies, that would be barbaric. And I urge you to have a play with this, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe in the future we get something else like Guzmo, which completely ruins this. But until then, I'm a little bit excited. But I'd like to know how you feel, so please do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts!
be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash plays where we talk about games that don't even have Pokemon in. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.